Amongst the oldest known Malay Jawi script, according to our scholars, was the Batu Basurat of Terengganu, or the Terengganu Stone Inscription. It is said by uh, Professor Nakib Alatas in his book on the correct date of the Terengganu inscription that the stone was discovered in 1887 in Kuala Berang in Terengganu and since then it was brought to the Raffles Museum for the greater part of the 20th century and after that it was brought to the National Museum before now perhaps a few decades it has now been in the Terengganu State Museum. This stone dated 1303 Common Era or 702 Hijrah is an important monument of the achievement of civilization in this part of the world. That shows, first, nearly 700 years ago, that Islam as a civilizing force already became part of a theological, political and legal construct. That means it is also a source of a people's way of life. But also, more importantly, I suppose, is that the stone inscribed reflects a scientific consciousness. I say this because according to our scholars, the dating of the stone inscription is placed there as the first Friday of the month of Rajab, when the moon was at the constellation of Sharatan or Aries in the year 702. When Professor Nakib Alatas, studying the Batu Basurat, established this term, he bases it on several factors. One was that in terms of uh, religious doctrine, understanding the months of the year is part of it. For example, in, in order to fast, you have to know that it is Ramadan and it depends on the lunar calendar. The coming of Islam into the Malay archipelago came with scientific learning. This is because in order to practice the religion, you have to have understandings of astronomy. Already in the Quran, we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established that the amounts of the months in the year is 12. And further, that important events such as fasting in Ramadan is established by moon cycle. And also, in the Quran, it is provided that the moon undergoes stations. For example, Allah said, وَالْقَبَرُ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلْ حَتَّى عَادَكَ الْعُرْجُونِ الْقَدِيمِ That we have placed the moon in stations until it returns to the shape of an old withered date. That means to say sickle-like shape. And these stations are important for the basis of astronomy in Islam. Because the moon, what then would be the background if not the constellations of the stars? So where the moon is at every station, depending on the star, will establish exactly what year and what date it was. When Prof. Alatas arrived through manual calculation on the exact date of the Batu Basurat or the stone inscription, it was a few or many decades later that his student, Prof. Zaini Uthman, decided to use some computer program and coupled with his knowledge of present-day astronomy to prove that in fact if you were to key in that location at that date, that the moon sighted from Kuala Berang Terengganu would in fact be in that station. What this reflects about the scientific achievements of the people of the Malay Archipelago, the Malay world, is that more than seven centuries ago, we have already established astronomy as a discipline which is understood, one. And this, to put in perspective, is about 150 years before Muhammad Al-Fatih opened Constantinople. It is two centuries before the Copernican Revolution and before the trial of Galileo Galilei in the West. And also, it is highly significant that this stone was erected for the general public viewing. And from the text that can be discerned, aside from promulgation of edicts and laws, we find a very significant statement about the king there being the servant of God. And the king there being the servant of God and therefore subject to the laws is in fact a revolution in terms of our legal understanding. Previously, in this part of the world and other parts, it is common for the kings to assume themselves to be the reincarnation of the gods. And being reincarnation of the gods, meaning they are above the law. But with this promulgation, with the, the Islamizing of their understandings, what now is understood is that the king is a servant of the God and therefore subject to the law. And his role there is to strengthen religions as a basis for communal prosperity and for communal peace.